Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. Um, I'm sounding a bit guilty because I know I'm supposed to be on a no-buy, so this is a bit of a guilty haul. Um, but I've got from two places. One is Polish Me Royalty and the other is here, which is my first order from Fragrance Direct. Um, now I can remember, I think, the majority of what I ordered from here. Um, but before we look at this, and I'm not going to do swatches or anything today, um, I'm literally just going to show you the bottles. Um, this is my Polish Me Royalty haul. Um, and what I did was I got a couple of my favourites. These three here, uh, three of my favourite Polish Me Royalties. And I kind of upgraded them into the bigger size because I was actually getting... Um, yeah, I was getting quite low, like... This one here is the mini size of this. Um, and I was just, I love this so much that I was worried about running out. Um, same with, oops, boobed it again. Same with uh, Choco Pops. You can see I've used a fair amount of that. Um, and that's the big size there. So I feel like I've, I can sleep easy now that I know I've got my hands on the bigger size bottles. So this one here is Tutti Frutti. Um, and it's scented, Tutti Frutti scented, but it's got this beautiful, it's a, so it's a gorgeous pink with a blue iridescent shift. And this is the polish that if you, if you put it over um, black the pink disappears and the, and the blue just shines through like a pale ice metallic blue um, but I yeah I love this color so I'm really happy that I've got that um, this is Choco Pops which is a really pretty um, I wonder if I've got some swatches actually hang on Yeah, I was just trying to be careful reaching for a swatch wheel then because look, I got stabbed by it. That looks like a, a the cat scratched me or something, but it was actually one of these bloody Sally uh, Sally Beauty Supply swatch wheels that I don't know how I managed it, but I've yeah, it's a swatch wheel injury. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to be careful picking this up then. That's Tutti Fruity. This one here that I've dinked is... Choco Pops, which is this beautiful, it's like an antique gold. Um, so I thought I'd be wearing quite a bit of that this time of the year. That's it over this one, which is Crocs A Killer. And this is from the Worst Heroes Ever collection. Love, love, love this. So I wanted to make sure I got this in the bigger bottle. Can you see those green flecks there? Love it. Um, so that's it under there. You can see that a bit better there under um, Choco Pops. So Crocs are killer, Choco Pops and Tutti Frutti. I also saw this one, which again, if you've seen my um, uh, one of my recent videos anyway, I talk about um, Pearl Jam or Pearl Jamming from the. Um, Rebel Collection China Glaze that I just can't get hold of and I thought that again this looked quite similar um, So this is pudding and I've seen lots of swatches of this on Instagram. So I thought yeah, I'll get a big bottle of that uh, and I am, This is one that I am going to swatch very quickly um, Because I haven't seen this one. Well, I've not oh Yeah I've not actually used this one before, but oh my god. That is a beautiful formula. Oh. Yeah. So it's gorgeous, like ice blue, with that really pretty... The brush strokes will die down, knowing Polish Me Royalty's formulas. So we might come back to that one, but yeah, you can really see that gold in there, the gold shift in there. Love it. 
And this one, I feel quite guilty about this actually because this is a polish that was made like a birthday polish um, for somebody. I, I'm, again, I'm really sorry, but I did go back on Instagram and I couldn't find the post and I couldn't find the name um, of the person whose birthday it was. But Sarah made this for somebody for their birthday and I saw a picture of it on Instagram and I sent her a message and said, I need this polish so she said that she had a little bit left over from the batch that she made so she's stuck this in a bottle for me and sent it oh my god look she sent this to me so I feel like I've stolen somebody's birthday polish so I feel a bit guilty about that but um just look at that so it's the green and those copper glitters and I've got to swatch this I just when as soon as I saw this it was like oh yeah 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 even though there are bar glitters in here which I usually can't stand I can deal with it oops And they do actually look like bar glitters that will stand up a little bit. So I'm going to have to slap those down with some good top coat. But um, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Very much liking this one. Yeah, you can see those bar glitters are kind of standing up already. <laughs> but I know Sarah sent a message out saying that she's going to be using more more stars, less bars. That's the new motto from Polish Me Royalty. So, um, yes, that is the name of this one is Pumpkin's Revenge. And I think this should be a, a polish that's available to the general public because it's absolutely gorgeous. Pumpkin's Revenge. God, it's funny how you can't really see the bar glitters in the bottle. Uh, but I will tame those with some top coat on the nail. So that's the five Polish Me Royalties. Um, and with Polish Me Royalty, as you probably know, you get all these lovely little embellishments as well. So we've got some Halloween, some um, flat silver, um, different coloured glitters, and some more Halloween Fimo there as well so you get that I've, she's also sent me a magnet a different type of wavy magnet I've got the cat's eye one but this is a different magnet for Crocs a killer because it is actually magnetic polish so I'll try that later and also I got some loose glitters as well so you get lots of fun from your nail mail from polish me royalty but I'm going to move this out of the way and move on to the Fragrance Direct haul. Okay, so here is the Fragrance Direct box. And um, like I said, I can remember some of these. And these are a couple of these I've been wanting for quite a while. Um, a couple are from like, last year's autumn collections. Um, and one was one that I picked up because I saw it in a video of Mrs. C, so um, Mrs. Cronall, and I'll link her channel below, and also Polish Pony, um, one of her essays that she had in one of her videos. So this is, uh, oh god, it's Grey's again. <laughs> I've just got this leaflet in my oh 60 pound wine 60 pound wine voucher interesting keep hold of that for christmas uh 10 percent off your next order that's cool and a cardo grocery delivery is 20 pounds off uh right okay Let's move the receipt and so the first thing I got was some cuticle rehab this was on sale I think um, so yeah fragrance direct and again I'll link their website below um, cuticle rehab because look yeah I've been naughty <laughs> I've been I've been I cut these down too much with uh, 
Uh, what did I use? I used, uh, you know, the, the cuticle clippers and this one I just pulled it off yesterday, which was bad. And then I've got this uh, swatch wheel injury as well. And also, just in case you're wondering, I've got swatches from um, the glossy box video I've just done. But yeah, cuticle rehab, but let's get into the polishes. So, one, two, three, four, five from Fragrance Direct. Okay, the first two, I'll show you these together because I think they came from the same collection. This is Bell Bottom Blues and this is Leggy Legend. And Mrs. C was actually wearing this today in a, a picture on Instagram and I left a comment saying, I'm getting this tomorrow, but it's actually arrived today. So I'm really happy with that. Really pretty autumn coppery metallic. So yeah. It's quite a dark, deep, dark shade, so I'm looking forward to that. It needs a good shake up. But yeah, that's the colour. Lovely. Looks like it's probably going to be a bit sheer for a metallic. Um, so Leggy Legend and this really pretty... Well, it looks like there's an iridescent shift to this. Bell Bottom Blues. And these were both, I believe, from last year's autumn collection. Um, I've also got, this is one that I've been wanting to pick up for ages, even though I've probably got lots of dupes for this. But it is the very famous My Vampire is Buff, and I can't remember which collection this came from. Uh, no, I don't think it was Pirates of the Caribbean. I can't remember. If anyone knows or can remember, let me know. But this is a lot of people's um, favourite nude. It's very, very pale with like a drop of, of a creamy cafe au lait kind of colour. So if you put that next to um, a white, you can see, yeah, you can see the difference there. Lovely, and this is supposed to be a very good formula, so happy I've got that. And this is one that I saw in um, a video from Polish Pony where she said that she would kill for this. <laughs> so I thought, okay, she must be pretty serious. Uh, on my nails, by the way, talking about could kill, this is a khaki um, Susie First Lady of Nails from this year's Washington DC fall collection and I love it. It's gorgeous olive green. Um, and this is, this is on a silver platter, if it'll show us. Oh, it's been very shy. There we go. On a silver platter. Oh, I'll see what she means now. Yeah, this is, but I thought this was very similar to a Cuccio that I've got. But now that we're here, I'm going to find that and put them side by side for the comparison. But this has definitely got more of a gold shift and the blue glitters in it almost glow. It's like somebody's turned the lights on inside the bottle. <laughs> um, let me just grab the Cuccio. No, sorry, I can't find it. It, mean, it requires me to go upstairs and I can't be bothered. I thought it was down here, but I will put this in a Claire's Compare with the Cuccio Illumination, but I can now see that they're actually quite a bit different. Um, I'll put it next to Ha 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 as well from Polish Me Royalty because I think this has got that similar um, silver iridescent finish. Let's have a look at this in the... Yeah... Yeah, I can see the gold in there now. I can see why she likes this. So it's silver and gold with the blue. Um, yes, thank you, Pony. I'm glad I've got this one now. And the last one that I've got is, this is a brand that was introduced to me from my friend Anne in Paris. And she sent me two Cure Bazaars, which is a Parisian brand. And I've been meaning to pick up another Cure Bazaar for quite a while. They're not cheap this was 9.99 um so guess which color i picked up yeah <laughs> so 
So this is Cure Bazaar and this is Kale and it looks like a beautiful dark forest green. I'm thinking that this is similar to Mrs Cronall's favourite green off Tropic. Um, and the other two Cure Bazaars that I've got are just beautiful formulas. Yeah, so it's got a great brush, great formula. I'm going to have to try this one and hopefully it won't stain. But yes, that's my third Cure Bazaar now. So I am picking them up slowly but surely. Um, so that's my haul. Um, so what did I get all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For a no buy. Okay, um, thanks very much for watching. Again, I've got these autumn shades, which um, I'm looking forward to trying all of them. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.